Hello. Today we're going to do a video uh, regarding an NX client software. What this video will cover is uh, NX is a technology that allows you to connect to a Linux machine and get a much faster response time relative to tunneling X through SSH. This works across a LAN, DSL, or a dial-up modem line. This video will show you how to download and install the No Machine NX Microsoft Client and connect to a Linux machine running an NX server. Uh, the first thing we want to do here is connect to the www.nomachine.com website. Once we've done that, we're going to click on the download button. And we'll uh, scroll on down here until we find the NX client for Windows. We'll go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to download that. So we'll download that package. And I'm just going to click Run here. I don't really need to save the package. And this uh, software will then download. Now it's running a scan on the file to make sure there's no Trojans or viruses. It's going to ask me to confirm as an administrator that I want to install this software. And I'm just going to take the default, so I'll click Next at the welcome screen, let it put it in the program files. This is going to be the Start menu. Uh, I'm going to let it create a desktop icon. And these are the things I selected in my um, path through the installation and I'll click finish and we'll put that in the background <coughs> after it's installed you'll see something that says NX client for Windows uh, I haven't installed anything yet so uh, it should take me into a wizard here's a wizard that's going to help me configure my first NX client machine so I'll click on next here you're going to see session in session uh, you could put uh, if I had a machine called server1.moreset.net on the internet uh, that had NX uh, server running, I could put server1.moreset.net. You can use domain names here uh, for your machine name. Uh, I'm doing this inside my house here for the demo, and I'm going to put in an IP address, 192.168.1.1.1. That's just text that's going to be on the uh, icon after we're finished. Uh, the host name, again, uh, in here, I, I could put the server name. Uh, actually, up here in the session, you could just say server1. You don't have to put the fully qualified domain name. That's just text. For the host, though, I do need to put in either a fully qualified domain name, like server1.moreset.net, or an IP address. I'm going to put in a private IP address of 192. Dot one sixty eight dot one dot one hundred, which will take me to a machine here in my house. Uh, if you're connecting into a machine from work and you're using DSL connecting through, say, something like VPN, uh, you would use this ADSL. Um, I'm connecting uh, to a machine in the house over a wire, so here I can just put LAN. If uh, you're sitting at your desk at work, you could put LAN uh, there as well. So I'll go ahead and click Next. Uh, the machine is a Linux machine, so, and it's, here it says Unix. That works perfect. Uh, I'm running CentOS on my machines, which is a Red Hat variant, uh, and I'm using GNOME, so I'm going to put GNOME down there. It says select the uh, size of the remote desktop. This is how it's going to appear on your uh, your client machine that you're running from and I'm going to put 1024 by 768 in, in my case and then I'm going to go ahead and click Next. I'm going to let it create a desktop shortcut on the desktop. Okay, now it comes up uh, with the ID I have here on my laptop but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in 
I, I made an ID on this uh, NX server called NX test ID and I have a password for it and I'm going to go ahead and click log in uh, first time you go to log in uh, it's going to want to punch a hole in the firewall so you're going to click allow access and it's going to come up hopefully uh, with a nice screen kind of like you see here um, that will allow you to run your uh, stuff from your machine so here I could come in and I, I have an NX client on this machine too um, it's actually running a, an, an NX server um, I could come in here and I could start my calculator uh, or some other application and go ahead and work and when I'm all done in this case I'll click on system and I'll click log out you want to make sure you log out because I've seen where people haven't logged out and it leaves uh, you know programs hanging out there so that's pretty much a tutorial on how to set up the NX client software and connect to a machine running the NX server I hope this was helpful and have a good day